number one, never, ever, ever stand in a speaker's line. Ever. <laughs> like, if I could. Oh, so, God, those are the worst. <laughs> just, like, just for, like, a photo, just to be like, hey, your speech was great. And then yeah. just, like, okay, next. So I watch these, and I've now been, because I speak on stages, now I've been, like, the recipient of the line. So when you get off a of stage, so if you're speaking at an event, no matter how experienced a speaker you are, you're like full of nerves, you're like trying to get your talk figured out, whatever, you get on stage, you do your talk, it goes well, you get off stage, you're like, yes, okay, now I just need like a drink and I need to go to the bathroom and I need to sit for a few minutes. And then you get like 30 people in line and you're like, okay, let me get through this line. And if they're nice people, they're going to be polite and they're going to say, oh yeah, great to meet you. Okay, sure. I'll take your business card. Well, Whatever, but you're not going to make any connections there because the speaker just has the motivation to get out of there. Like you are not giving your phone number out in the speaker line. Yeah, right? no, not no, happening. you're not. You shouldn't even be standing in the speaker's line. <laughs> so one trick that I do if you want to connect with speakers is talking to them before their talk. After their talk, everybody wants to talk to them. But if you know that like so-and-so, you know, Casey Stanton's going to be talking this afternoon and I'm like, oh, I really want to connect with him. I'm going to connect with him in the morning and say, I'm really looking forward to your talk. But uh, any meals, any communal meals that there are, I'm doing it. I'm in the hallways. I'm at the bar until they kick me out of the bar. Um, those are the places that you're making those real connections. And people get so scared of small talk. And they're like, small talk's so stupid. Like, I would just want to get to business. Small talk is such a valuable psychological tool because it's how you suss out, like, is this person a safe person? Is this person somebody that's interesting is this person somebody that like i can have a conversation with that i would feel good about working with like all those conversations all that is happening in your brain while you're talking about the weather or the speakers or whatever it is that you're talking about 